the presidency has reacted angrily to renewed agitations for restructuring of Nigeria. He said on Sunday, October 4, 2020, that the President Muhammadu Buhari administration would not be intimidated into making any hasty decision over the matter, claiming that the country's enemies were actively sponsoring discord in the polity. There have been renewed agitations for the country to be restructured to avoid its breakup, with the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Arusi CG, Pastor Enoch Adebuye, joining the fray at the weekend. But the presidency, in two separate statements, said Buhari would not be pressured to make any decision that would not be in the interest of the nation, making it clear that the president would only work with the legislature on issues of national concerns. The presidency responds to the recurring threats to the corporate existence of the country with factions giving specific timelines for the president to do one thing or another or else, in their language, the nation will break up. He said in a test statement last night by senior special assistant to the president on media and publicity, Malam Garba Shehu, adding firmly, this is to warn that such unpatriotic outbursts are both unhelpful and unwarranted, as this government will not succumb to threats and take any decision out of pressure at a time when the nation's full attention is needed to deal with the security challenges facing it at a time of the COVID-19 health crisis. It emphasized, repeat, this administration will not take any decision against the interests of 200 million Nigerians who are the president's first responsibility under the constitution out of fear or threats, especially in this hour of a health crisis. The president, as an elected leader under this constitution, will continue to work with patriotic Nigerians through and in line with the parliamentary processes to finding solutions to structural and other impediments to the growth and well-being of the nation and its people. Earlier in the day, the presidency had in another statement by the special advisor to the president on media and publicity, Mr. Femi Adeshino, accused the enemies of the country of sponsoring and encouraging discord and anarchy against the government for either selfish ends or as revenge for perceived injuries. It warned Nigerians to beware of such persons saying that the Buhari-led government was only interested in engendering better quality of life for the citizenry. It claims that some opposition elements against the government had wanted to hide under the botched planned strike by organized labor to attack the Buhari administration. It, however, noted that some people were disappointed that the organized labor followed the path of honor by suspending the strike over the increase in prices of petrol and electricity tariff. According to the statement, since organized labor told the path of sense and sensibility last week, seen reason with the imperatives of fuel price adjustment and opening a further window of dialogue on the service-based electricity tariff, some groups of persons have been dolorous, discontrolled, and disconsolate. They had apparently perfected plans to use the strike by the labor unions as a smokescreen to unleash anarchy on the land, fomenting mayhem and civil disobedience. But the plan blew up in their faces and they have been in severe pains since then. They have launched a series of tirades against organized labor. The RCCG overseer Adeboye had also on Sunday, October 3, added his voice to the list of prominent Nigerians calling for restructuring, warning of a heightened danger of breakup if the country's leaders failed to reform. He suggested a measure of the British and an American systems of government for Nigeria, stressing that the country should develop a system peculiar and unique to it. From Lagos, this is Tina Timothy, News Express Nigeria Television.